very big welcome to Belinda Myers from the Time Bank Hurunui. Is that it's correct, isn't it? It's not Hurunui Time Bank, it's Time Bank Hurunui. And my name is Belinda Myers. Belinda Myers. Oh, uh, hold on, Belinda. I'll just put your microphone on. I do beg your pardon, Belinda <laughs> Myers is how it's pronounced. Okay, well, welcome to Compass FM. Thank you for taking the time this afternoon. Thank you for having uh, me. To pop in and see us. Mm. Well, tell us all about this repurpose and repair expo you've got coming this Saturday. We have um, traditionally run a spring big swap every year and that went for about six years until 2018 and we decided we had done that enough even though it was very popular and uh, there were some issues at the final stages of the big swap of actually getting rid of what was left over. People were very generous but there was a lot of stuff and it kind of got um yeah, got complicated, let's say, because Amberley had lost two big recycle um, schemes, uh, op- a recycle shop that was part of the recycle scheme, and then there was an op shop that also closed last year. So um so we we put it away and just thought, okay, well Yes, we might come up with something, we might not, and we did. Uh, Given that there's so much more emphasis on all the waste that's produced, um, trying to minimise, reduce waste, recycling is getting more difficult anyway. And just to you know have that concept and to uh, approach people that we know in our community and in our time bank who are very resourceful and very creative. Um, we thought, well, let's make something fun of this and call it a repurpose uh, event. Um, basically, very broad definition, anything that's from one thing transformed into another thing so it doesn't end up in the waste stream. And if it's got a creative twist with it, all the better. Or it might just be plainly um, a utilitarian thing. And then the other people were kind of jumping on board, saying, oh, yeah, can we have a repair cafe? Because... That has been a, a theme. Uh, a lot of people have approached us to say, oh, can't you run a repair cafe? And so, oh, well, yeah, but, you know, we need to have repairers and know who they are and organise it. So it seemed a good idea um, to dovetail these two things because often stopping something going to the waste stream is actually knowing how to fix it or getting it, you know, a bit of TLC um replacing tool handles or yeah just look yeah. being mindful of our things and and seeing if they can be fixed and repaired uh so that's how it's come about really and of course we've been on tender hooks because of the, the level situation um we first conceived of this in february Okay, yeah. so it's been a while in the making, and of course, uh, yeah, but not knowing whether we're going to level one, what level, which level we're going to be at, because uh, that does restrict the number of people that can come along. Well, the idea was we'd probably can it if it was level two, but there was so much enthusiasm, it felt really, oh, we can't, we'll have to go ahead, so we're going to have a system of numbering people in and out. But it will be outdoors and indoors, so we're very relieved we're at level one it will make life a lot easier I'm quite excited about the idea of having that repair cafe Mm, Uh, mm. I mean I think back to the days when I was younger and uh, there was a chap in the high street Mr Abernethy you could take anything to him in Rangiora he Mm. he would repair a toaster or Mm. or a jug Mm. or even Mm -hmm. even an old television set Mm. of course those days are gone now but uh, but I like the idea of being able to put new handles on tools and things that can be repurposed uh, or, uh, you know, it's a wonderful uh, thing that things aren't getting ended up in the in the landfill, and uh, it's nice that Time Bank Hood and Nui uh, have created. Uh, this initiative some time ago uh, with recycling and mm. reusing, yeah. and uh, very few councils, I think, uh, are keen to get involved with it. But certainly, Time Bank Hood and Nui have been quite a trailblazer, really. Well, maybe. I'm not sure. Lots of time banks all around the country and other community groups are doing this, you know, um, more and more. Um, And I have to say that, you know, we have somebody from our council who's going to be there doing some neat stuff. So it's not that they're not supporting. It's just that they'd like communities to take initiative. Absolutely, Um, yes. And we've got we've got menders as well you know fabric but the actual we've got over 30 participants or um e- exhibitors and repairers but there's an awful lot of people who are exhibiting amazing things a huge range of things and there's uh, workshops for children uh, creative junk from Christchurch coming um we've got two do- short documentaries which I'm very keen to show one was about made about the um, whole house reuse project, the Christchurch Red Zone House. Oh yes, yeah, now that, that would be amazing to deconstructed see. Deconstructed and yeah, 
Um, but, you know, the whole range of people are going to be there uh, from, uh, you know, art from junk, um, scrap metal, steampunk, um, paper making from fabric and flax. That's Mark Lander. The Nest Artist Collective are going to be there with what they do from reused um, materials. There are people who have got um, somebody made the most of lockdown and made a, a ukulele out of a wok, you know, that kind of thing. That and sounds wonderful. Your little garden items that um, have recycled, you know, things to make, put plant pop put plants in uh, two school um, two schools are going to be there with their what well, some of their classes have been doing yeah um, and I could it, go on there's, yes there's no it, it sounds fantastic it's, it's almost a, a, very a, rich it's a combination of art and recycling and uh, uh, these initiatives are just wonderful so uh, it, obviously it's something that people should be keen to come along to the repurpose and repair expo this Saturday this Saturday uh, now it's five dollars for adults to yes. come along but yes. it's free for children free for children although they if, if possible there be a kohara a small kohara requested for the creative junk workshop well, that's, that's only, yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. think that, that, that's to, to, be, to be fair, isn't it? And there's going to be a free barbecue at the end. A free barbecue, yeah. <laughs> and a there will be, yeah, refreshments provided during the afternoon a busker and a coffee cart and, you know, the, a community yeah, event. A community event. Yeah, I think yeah, it's yeah. wonderful. And yeah. I think it's a great initiative for uh, for uh, the folks of, uh, of Hurunui, Amberley in particular, but the Time Bank Hurunui folk. Thanks for putting this on. Are you, ga- are you going to tell people where it is? Yes, it's happening at the uh, Amberley Domain. Yes. Yes, and it starts at half past 12 yeah. through to half past 4. Yeah. Yeah. So get on down to the Amberley Domain. So it's in the tin shed and outside. Yeah. So it's, bo- it's both in and out. So I think that's fabulous. Yeah. yeah. Well, you know, the, the biggest stuff, the noisiest stuff Noisy outside. Stuff. Yeah. Um, we hope it's not going to be too windy, but, you know, we're... We'll be good. Or take, yeah, take along a kite. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so we'll much, Belinda, for coming in today. Belinda Mears from uh, Time Bank Hurunui. Repurpose and Repair Expo this Saturday in the Amberley Domain from half past 12 until half past four. Thanks for popping in. Thank you very much, Bruce. Lovely come, to see come you. Come yourself. I will. I'd love to pop along and have a look at that free barbecue yeah. in particular. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thank you. Thanks.